these two are my favorites right now. This looks like a strawberry army. This is so cute. the weekend counting all of my inventory for my shop just to get ahead of the game and be prepared and I was counting it with my boyfriend and I would like to share the different names that he decides to name my stickers he called this sticker the strawberry fam pick for this gnome he decided to rename it as Santa pukes rainbow this one is now renamed as naked butt orange and I had some like decorative stickers like this that have no name and I just love how he wrote dot dot dot. I'm gonna continue counting the rest of my inventory today. It's gonna be mainly Patreon stickers that I'm gonna count. And I'm gonna start inputting everything into Shopify. Hello, can you hear me well? I got a new microphone. Thank you to my patrons for giving me this microphone. Oh yeah, this is a Blue Yeti microphone. Let me try talking from this side. Do I sound different? Is it worse? I don't know. Only you guys will be able to tell. I'm gonna be making some new thank you cards today. And I also want to design and edit some Instagram photos because I've made some work recently that I would like to share with the world. Those are my two goals for today, is thank you cards and my Instagram posts. These are the photos that I took, I think, yesterday. That's one post that I want to do, and then the next one is of my February Patreon rewards. Um, yeah, I just took a bunch of photos. I'm thinking I would want to use a cleaner background one like this because it doesn't distract from the actual picture and possibly this one but like cropped a lot like maybe cropped so that it's not as distracting I don't know one of those and I also really like this picture of like the single tiger this tiger just makes me so happy look at his little face I'm trying to design my thank you cards right now, but I'm also thinking of also making a postcard set that is called Loose Lines Print Set or something like that, where I put um, my sketchbook prints into it and it's like a set of postcards. So I went ahead and photographed 
all of my sketchbook pieces that I potentially want to make into either prints or the thank you cards and I'm going to see what I can use. I did this sketch a while back and it has a thank you bag on it and I'm thinking I could just use this for the thank you card but I do want to have multiple versions because I do like it when people are, like for example, if people buy multiple orders within the span that I have these thank you cards, I like the idea that they're getting a different design every single time they order and it'll make it more interesting for them and they'll have more prints to keep. It's a Luna New Year today and I thought I would dress up a little bit with these little red gold earrings and a red dress. Growing up, I feel like I've always disliked wearing red because of Lunar New Year's. The older I get, the more I like wearing red. I think back then, I just didn't want to wear anything that made me stand out too much. And then as I got older, I'm like, well, that's a dumb idea. I'm gonna wear whatever I want. This is as good as it's going to get, or else I'm never going to head out and go to the office and get work done. It's not bad, it's okay. It's whatever. So, I think this is the outfit. I added this last second because you gotta wear as much red as you possibly can for all the good fortune and luck. Sticker app wanted to give me some freebie stickies. These two are my favorites right now. This design was originally for the pouches that I made and then I converted these into like tattoo designs and then I colored the tattoo design and then made it into stickers. So there's like a lot of different versions of these out there now. And then the other sticker is this Raincoat Rani. And it has like little shiny silver bits on where the water splashes are. like a strawberry army. This is so cute. The army, the strawberry army. They were they're going to come and eat you. <sighs> Does anyone else not breathe when they take photos? I think ever since I started to use this camera, the Canon N50 to take photos of my products, I just can't go back. It's just not the same. If you aren't familiar, Photoshop has this feature where you can photo merge two sections of an image together and it is the coolest thing because I scanned this half and this half separately and now it's just one entire piece. It's so cool, like oh, the texture that it scanned, that's crazy. Wednesday, I realized that I wasn't taking care of myself as much as I should have. I wasn't eating at proper times. I wasn't taking breaks. I wasn't really like refilling my water. And I was just constantly working through the hunger and through the pee breaks and all that, which is not great. It just, you know, it reminded me of how hardcore shop updates can be. 
and how you have to kind of like constantly remind yourself to take breaks and to take care of yourself because when I don't do that, I get pretty obsessed. But it's always helpful that Snow is around and he's just constantly like forcing me to take these little breaks in between staring at my screen all day, which I very much appreciate that he's always just checking up on me. So shout out to my homeboy Snow for being there for me. I pretty much just spent all of Wednesday editing photos and designing my postcard prints, but I had a lot of fun the following days. So it made up for the lack of care that I gave myself on Wednesday. You got it. Just jump here. Come on. Yay! Yay! Ah! Why'd you bite me? Looks like it's nappy time. Ah. Don't bite it, please. This was expensive. <laughs> I bought some storage from Ikea. There should be a pretty simple shelf to make, hopefully. This is the final product. This is going to be my Patreon rack where I put all my Patreon uh, secret shop merch. I might use this later on for when I get more prints for my actual store, but she cute though. She very cute. I just thought it was getting a little bit too cramped mixing everything over here together, so I made a Patreon shelf for my lovely patrons. I just got in the biggest batch of print orders that I feel like I've ever gotten in the mail. This, this, and this box are all prints and they're heavy as heck. I also ordered a lot of packaging from Eco and Clothes that also came the same time. Loki think that Snow understands the concept of weekends because I was working throughout the week and he didn't really bother me too much and right when I started working on Sunday morning he could not leave me alone he was just obsessed with being around me he was like stalking me lunging at me playing with my hair and he's like stop working why are you working so hard like just play with me and he was being really cute like I am watching this footage back and I it makes me want to just like find him and give him a big hug right now like he's just so cute he's been really liking my apple pencil he thinks it's his toy he also really likes to incorporate his own drawings into my drawings when i draw my ipad and when i don't let him he gets really mad so maybe you'll see some collaborations with me and snow uh, yeah i was just designing some patreon benefits and i did this little hot pot one with mushroom besties and a badass shrimp and yeah that's how i spent my sunday good morning 
Today is the start of uh, shop update prep week and that means it's gonna be a lot of work, a lot of stress, but I'm very, very excited. Get comfy. Wear your most comfy outfit because this, this is gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> what? I'm taking some photos for Donnie and Honey and I always had this idea of having like dust or like fluff underneath Donnie so it looks like he's part of like this bigger cloud of dust but I don't have any stuffing on me unless I rip apart my stuffed animals and I found this jar of Theo's hair when I was trying to groom him I'm gonna try it. I know it's kind of gross, but I have no other option. Oh, it looks like cat hair. I don't know. Oh no. Hell. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> that looks gross. What if I made him a toupee? Yeah. <laughs> All gross. Okay, we're scrapping this idea. I opted for under the couch with a bunch of socks because I think this is a lot cuter than cat hair. I think this worked out pretty well. I got my prints in just in time. I'm gonna be doing a Cheektober print set. So each set will have one of each. And then I also have this print, which turned out really pretty. I really like how that one turned out. This is, these two are like the bigger prints that I've made. Um, I don't think I usually make prints this big. So I'm kind of excited. This is gonna be textured because I painted this on canvas and I wanted it to be a textured material. Oh, they did not mess it up. Okay, okay, these are just extras. And then inside our frog prints. Cute. <gasps> These are such good quality. Done. It's happening. It looks like I took over almost the entirety of the office. I just 
designed a little belly band for each print set so that it holds together. Just says Cheektober on it and on the back is the four different prompts that I used. I'm gonna just print these out and then bring it to my office to trim them because I have guillotine there and it will take forever for me to cut them with a ruler and a knife. I just realized that I did something dumb. I accidentally ordered 400 sets instead of 100 sets because when I entered the number on the printing site, I entered 400 and then they meant 400 each and not 400 total. So now I have 400 sets of prints. So I will be selling these for a long, long time. I would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community that includes thousands of creative classes like illustration, design, photography, marketing, productivity, and more. Some classes I'd like to recommend are Get It Made, Get It Sold, The Basics of Sourcing and Sales for Entrepreneurs by Jeff Staple, and Illustrate for Merchandise, Transform Your Artwork into Products by Alicia Salza. Both classes are really good to watch through to familiarize yourself with different ways that people find inspiration, manufacture products, price their products, and more. If you would like to check out Skillshare, the first thousand people to click on my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you again, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. I'm at my office now, and uh, I have a lot of sorting to do. It's kind of chaotic in here right now. Shop updates are so fun because there are so many hats you have to juggle throughout the whole process of preparing a shop update. And on this day, I was organizing a lot of my prints and just like rolling up um, packaging materials that I can reuse for later, stacking boxes, tetrising it inside of the closet so that everything's nice and tidy. I personally just love organizing all the time. If I had a job that wasn't related to something creative, I think I would be doing something that involved organizing or planning or both. It's just like, to me, it feels like a hobby, you know, like just organizing things, figuring out storage. Print sets are a lot of work and I underestimated how much work they were. I thought making print sets would be easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl, you know, um, but it's not. And I didn't really end up finishing all of them the day that I thought I would be finishing them. I, I, I had high hopes for myself that day and I thought I would be able to wrap every single one. Um, but I decided to not break my fingers and to just wrap enough so that I can just pack them up during the shop update and wrap more afterwards when I need more of them. But yeah, I literally spent the entire day just putting belly bands, um, trimming belly bands on my guillotine, counting inventory, stuff like that. So it was actually very tiring. I think I get more tired for like the physical aspects of shop updates where you actually have to like move a lot and carry things and stack things, but it's also a very fun time for me. I am so pooped out right now. I have been working since like 10 a.m. in the morning and it's 8 p.m. I still have not done this because I am waiting for two prints to be reprinted since it turned out a little bit darker than I wanted it to. And I had like a little scare today where the customer support emailed me back and said like, we're gonna reprint every single print for you again, free of charge. I would love to have like extra free, I guess, goodies 
that I can sell. But as you can tell, I kind of already ordered as much as I wanted and I didn't want to order even more. I think that would be way too many prints. I luckily caught them in time and said, could you only reprint those two prints for me? Like, could you just please not give me extra? And they let me do it. And so I'm glad I don't have to uh, figure out what to do with the extra 200 sets of prints. I also binged seven episodes of Breaking Bad while doing all of this. I'm ready to just sleep. Ugh. Ow, I just cracked my shoulder. All right, I'm gonna just finish trimming this and I think I'm gonna just stop here because I'm really tired. I saw this girl that did this series on TikTok and she took products like perfumes and stuff like that and then she took product shots using her scanner and I thought that'd be pretty cool for like plushies. Um, I wanna try to get some where their faces are like squished into the scanner or like their feet are standing on the scanner and it's kind of um, it's kind of similar to like, there's like a whole concept of photography where people take photos from like the bottom up of a glass and it's just like their cat or their pet sitting on top of the glass like eating food or something so I thought that would be pretty cute. I try to make it really dark in here so that I can get the full effect of the scan. They're turning out pretty cool. I've only done two so far, this was the first one and I think it's pretty cute, but I didn't like how it was so bright in the background because then you can see like shapes in the background and it just doesn't look as cute. And also I think I smushed his face too much. You can't really see his face anymore. Um, so this was my second try and I thought for this one, it just looks a lot cooler. Like they're just floating in space. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna see what I can make with this. entirety of today was all spent taking more photos and also editing and uploading. For the rest of today, I am going to make one banner, a post, and plan out my story post for the update, which I pretty much just need to draw. So this is the main post with all my new products excluding the pre-order products and I'm gonna just write like shop update somewhere on this photo and that'll be for Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all those sites. I have a banner for my new thank you cards and then I also did the scanner photo as one of the banner because I feel like it could look really cool and also I have no idea where to put this and I want to use it so I'm gonna make it a banner. The anticipation of opening my shop has now tripled and I am very, very excited now. What does that mean? That means exactly what it means. That's a determination I've yet to make. Thanking me for saving your life. Would you do that? As I said, I will clear this up. Just please allow me to do this in my own way, in my own time.
Um, I'm now realizing that I think I bit off a little bit more than I can chew for this update and like I've been working non-stop for the past three days. I've been working like 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day for some and I'm just tired but it's like I love the challenge and I love the grind. So it's very conflicted like I'm very exhausted but I'm also at my peak happiness right now of just like doing all this. I think it definitely hit me the hardest when I realized that I was doing like a lot of things for the first time and I wanted to do a lot of new things like make GIFs for my website which I know how to do but it does take a lot longer and then I also wanted to try doing like the scanner photos and also figuring out pre-orders for the first time. I would say this update is even harder than the update where I completely like shifted from Etsy to Shopify. I'm almost done. I pretty much finished the newsletter, which turned out really cute. I really like the way it turned out. I'll show it so you can visualize what it looks like. Yeah. Back to work! I'm gonna design the story post that I'm gonna be posting on Instagram when my update is live. I also have to figure out shipping, which is pretty important. Um, and then I just have to fix up the website a bit, edit the Q&A section. I should have my shop open for my Patreons early um, tomorrow morning, hopefully. I saw the flashes in the dark, colors on the wall. Right against the monochrome Where I felt so small I drew the curtains up Pulled away the blinds Heard a rushing wind Through the windows of my mind And I began to glow With the love divine I think I need some caffeine and some lunch. I just realized that I wore my house slippers. I think that's fine. I'll just go through the drive through I was kind of freaking out about email marketing because it's my first time doing it uh, for myself. I realized that my Shopify emails were being sent to my spam box. Which is not a fun thing to find out a few days before you're sending it. I tried sending it to a bunch of my other friends and they all said that they received it fine. I think Lewis got his sent to the promotions tab on Gmail, but at least it was not spam. I'm gonna just send it this time and see what happens, but if it becomes a problem then I will figure it out later. Could I have a matcha tea latte? No, this is good. Thank you. Do it. I got a reprint from Moo. Also had my Patreon early access for my shop today. And I'm very thankful for all the orders that came in today. It was, it's like always like a soft stress, a softer stressful um, shop opening than like the actual one. So it kind of like prepares me for when I open my shop for everyone else. Why don't they put a box in a box? So I only got a reprint of two of the cards 
they look better. So the reprint um, for these, I just went ahead and lightened the pink areas because they were actually printing really dark when I turned them into CMYK. I definitely went in and lightened the frog and like the pinks here and the mountains. And then I lightened the portrait of the girl on this one. Yeah, they turned out a lot better. I really like these prints more than the first ones. So for the first ones, I have yet to figure out what I want to do with them. But I was thinking maybe I'll just put them in my secret shop for Patreon and then give them away for like really cheap or really free because I don't want to waste like 200 something prints. And yeah, I'll just have to figure that out later when I have more mental capacity to do so. I spent the day designing some story posts for Instagram. That's pretty much the last thing I need to do for my shop before I start packing orders. I'm gonna end the shop update vlog here. Thank you so much for tuning along this really really long vlog and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Um, I'm pretty sure you'll be very excited for that one because that will be the hectic order packing vlog. I'm already very excited to just literally pack orders for an entire week and to just vlog it. Bye! I'll see you later.